Good morning. Today we're going to go back to our good guys book and let's move that out of the way. Hi, Nico. Little surprise. Hello from Nico. I think she just woke up from a nap. Oh, sweet kitty. This is Nico. I've had Nico for four years and she's awesome. She is like a puppy cat. So she likes to be social and she likes to play fetch. And she's pretty awesome. See you later, Nico. You gonna hang out? All right. Uh, so again, to our good guys book, <clears throat> and we are gonna read Space Boy by Leo Landry. All right. The pictures are small. I'm gonna see if I can scooch up a little bit. All right. Let's jump in. The moon shined brightly as Nicholas readied for bed. This is what he could hear. Wah, 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 his baby sister crying in her crib. Woof, 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 the dog barking to be let out. And the radio blaring on the front porch. Blah, news, sport, sports. Even the noises from his neighborhood floated through his open window. Too loud, thought Nicholas, holding his ears, and I'm not going to bed. In that moment, Nicholas made a decision. So there's the baby sister and the dog, the radio, which says new sports, blah, and the neighborhood. He tiptoed quietly to the kitchen. He packed two cheese and tomato sandwiches, one bottle of water, a bunch of grapes, and a cookie. He fit the food nicely into his lunchbox along with his napkin. Next, Nicholas got dressed. First, he climbed into his spacesuit. Then, he put on his space boots. And last, he put on his space helmet. Nicholas read his list aloud to make sure he was ready. Space suit, check. Space boots, check. Helmet, check. It's a pretty cool costume he's got. Then Nicholas walked outside to the backyard and climbed into his rocket. He strapped himself in and prepared for takeoff. Nicholas knew exactly which button, buttons to push and when to push them. Four, three, two, one, lift off, he shouted. The rocket soared into space. Lift off. Nicholas turned and looked out the window. Below, he could see the noisy world slowly fall away. Above, he saw the moon. Almost there, he thought. There he is looking at the window. There's the moon. The rocket touched down gently on the lunar surface. Nicholas opened the hatch, climbed down the ladder, and stepped onto the cold, dusty landscape. It was so quiet on the moon. This is what Nicholas could not hear. His baby sister crying, the dark dog barking, or the radio blaring. How nice, thought Nicholas. He spread out his blanket and unpacked his snack. The lack of gravity was a problem. The tomato slices rose softly into the atmosphere. They looked as big and round as the earth, as the earth as they slowly floated away. Those are the tomatoes floating away. Nicholas held onto his sandwich and he ate what was left. He ate his grapes, <clears throat> took a sip of water, and saved his cookie for last. Delicious, he said to himself. When he had finished, Nicholas went for a moonwalk. He bounced across huge craters and scaled miniature mountains. The beautiful blue earth appeared behind every peak, silent and peaceful. There he is having his picnic. There he is jumping and hopping. As Nicholas walked, he looked back at his footprints in the soft lunar surface. 
Just like footprints at the beach, he thought, remembering how he had helped his baby sister take her very first steps toward the ocean in the cool wet sand. Nicholas continued his walk. The vast wide open spaces on the moon reminded him of his dog. Wouldn't he just love to run and run and run with no end in sight, Nicholas thought. Though he would probably miss the green grass in our yard. Those are his footprints. And seeing the earth again, Nicholas remembered the warm summer nights when his family sat out on the porch in the light of the full moon. This moon. Get out of here, kitty. Kitty, kitty. His moonwalk had brought him back into to his spaceship. Back up the ladder went Nicholas. He climbed through the hatch and strapped himself in. Four, three, two, one, lift off. The rocket soared into space. Nicholas could see the craters and the valleys of the silent moon slowly falling away. Ahead, he saw Earth. So he's getting ready for liftoff now from the moon. There he goes. Soon the rocket touched down gently in his backyard. Nicholas opened the hatch, climbed on the ladder, and stepped up to the moonlit grass. He went into his room and took off his space suit, his space helmet, and his space boots. He tiptoed gently down the hallway. This is what Nicholas could see. His baby sister sleeping in her crib the dog curled snugly in his bed, and his parents sitting together on the porch listening to the radio. It was a lovely evening in his neighborhood. Beep, beep, vroom, vroom. So they're sleeping, it's mom and dad. I'm ready for bed now, Nicholas told his parents. Good night. Good night, Nicholas, said his parents. It was good to be home. There's the moon. Thanks for reading this book with me today, guys. See you next time.